right, head baseball coach Jeremy Beckham after a split today in the Sweet 16. Game one goes Fellowship's way eight to one. Game two goes Mount Vernon's way four to three. All right, coach, crazy day, up and down, left and right. Put this day into words if you can. Really was. Um, first of all, I mean, our Mount Vernon community coming out today energized us. I mean, it was so fun, such a great atmosphere. Um, I think uh, I think that really set the tone for the day. First game uh, came out, we didn't play our brand, weren't as aggressive as we would have liked to be um, in that first game, uh, but we were able to counter, we were able to make adjustments in game two uh, to kind of get the win. And Alex Meddy comes up, uh, big double uh, in, in a spot where we really needed it, and it kind of it got us going. Um, the bats came alive and, uh, and we were able to scratch out a win. What did you notice in game one that changed in game two for the better? In game one, we just we, we played a little bit passive. Um, that's not our brand. We're a confident baseball team, uh, and we're aggressive. Um, I think we kind of lost that. We kind of lost that in game one. Game two, but we made the adjustment, um, you know, did what we needed to do, and uh, we came out confident and aggressive, um, and it showed. Game two, a gem pitched by Tres Gonzalez. Only one pitch really got away from him, and it was a solo home run, and he'll take that any day of the week. Any day. Uh, what was his key to success on the mound that you saw? Uh, well, Tress, I mean, he's he's carried us on the mound um, all year. Um, he's a kid that you know what you're going to get out of him. He's going to give you 110 every day. Um, and he's a competitor. He battles. Uh, so, you know, anytime we have that confidence, and he did what he's done all year. He hit spots, he mixed speeds, um, and he missed barrels. And that's what we need him to do. Um, and he was right on time for us. You mentioned that big hit by Alex Maddy. He tomahawk going off the left center field wall. And Nate Anderson... Little guy with the wheels came through big time today. <laughs> yeah, he did. Nate, uh, Nate plays an exciting uh, brand. He, you know, his game is speed, and he shows a little bit of power. Um, and, and, and again, Nate's been doing it for us all year in the two holes. So those guys, uh, two, a couple big hits for us uh, to get us going and keep us rolling. You swapped the lineup a little bit, too, as well for game two. Was that just to see if you could get something going? Yeah, we had to mix it up a little bit. Um, we thought that we want to put some guys in there that could put a little bit more pressure on the defense. Um, and, and that's what we did. We ended up getting a little spark, and we rode that wave, you know, all the way through game two to the win. So now we go to game three. Winner take all, 315 at our place tomorrow. We have flipped. We are the home team. Yes. What has to happen tomorrow? We got to come out, and we got to be aggressive, and we got to be confident. We got to play selfless baseball. Um, it's really fundamental. And in playoffs, so many good teams, and, and Coach Oliver does a great job with, with fellowship. We're playing, once you get to this level, it's all great teams. So we got to play fundamental baseball as a team, selfless uh, and aggressive. All right, coach, go get them. Thank you.